Movie Inspire, presenting. Alpha. The story begins at the end of the Stone Age, which means 20,000 years ago. In the last Ice Age when our world was a very harsh and cruel place. When this world was full of dangers, the one who was strong remained alive. Humans also made tribes like animals to collect food. There we see Europeans living in tribes. Those who hunt together one of them is shown, who is the chieftain of the tribe whose name is Tao. Tao goes hunting with his tribe to collect winter food, they see a huge herd of buffaloes in front of them and all of them attack the herd. Then one of the wild buffalo runs towards Tao's son Keta. Tao asks Keta to move out of the way of the buffalo but Keta starts running in fear. The wild buffalo trap him in its horn and starts running towards the ditch. To save Keta Tao throws a spear at the buffalo and gets hit by the spear but by then the buffalo throws Keta above the ditch. From here the story goes flashback one week ago. Where the clan is shown, all the tribesmen are preparing to go hunting to gather food for the winter. These people also take their young boys of the clan every time so that they can also know how to hunt and one of the young ones is Keta. On the same night, Keta's mother tells Keta's father Tao that, don't take Keta with you on hunting, he is not ready yet, I love him very much and I do not want to lose him. Tao says that, winter is coming and at this time of the year all the tribesmen go hunting, if we do not go to hunt then we all will have to starve and this time Keta has to prove himself. The very next morning, all the tribesmen go out to hunt. Another tribe also comes from ahead, which is a friend of Tao, who has come out to hunt like them. After traveling a long way, they reach a stone monument, which were made by their ancestors. This means that there has been a lot of hunting here and with the help of this mark, the chief takes his people back home. They spend all night there, and the next day they go on their way. This journey was very dangerous. That's why their ancestors lost their lives, that's why they build a memorial for the dead in their memory. After walking ahead, they see a wild boar, who is wounded by a spear. Tao tells his son Keta that you have to kill him, but Keta does not want to kill that helpless. That is why Tao snatches the stone dagger from his hand and kills the boar. After this, he says to Keta, I had never imagined that you would be so coward. Tao says that only the strong can survive here, this is the law of the jungle. In fact there is a law among the animals in the forest, where every strong one survives by killing the weak one. When they were eating their prey in the dark of night, at that moment the lion comes and takes away one of these boys. The next morning a small memorial is created in the memory of the boy, and travel further in search of prey. Even after passing through the terrible forest and dangerous path, they do not get any prey. They stayed at the cave in the night and then Tao makes tattoos of stars on the hand of his son Keta and tells Keta that, these stars are visible in the night sky and when you follow them, you will reach back to your home. Actually, it is a map. Now at dawn, all of them once again go out in search of prey, and they see the footprints of wild buffalo. After seeing this, everyone becomes happy and starts hunting them after seeing the wild buffalo. And now comes the present time, when a wild buffalo threw Keta off the hill. The story comes back to the present, where it is shown that when the buffalo threw the Keta from the rock, he fell down from the rock, but he hangs by holding a stone in the middle of the rock. His father rushes to reach there and he tells his son not to lose heart. Then that stone breaks and Keta collides with the rocks and falls in a small space in the middle of the rocks. Tao wants to go to save Keta, but he is stopped by his clan. They say that there is no way to go there, your son is no more in this world. Now we don't want to lose you, you are the chief of our clan, your responsibility is to protect all of us and take us all back home. Tao has to obey them. Tao spends the whole day and night sitting on the side of the same rock, calling for his son. Until the next morning, when there is no response from Keta, Tao and all his companions build a small stone monument in memory of Keta, and take their prey and go back to their home. After his departure, the vulture comes and sits on top of Keta and starts scratching him. But before he eats him, Keta's eyes open. Actually Keta had fainted, when he wakes up he throws the vulture down. After regaining consciousness, he calls to his father but he does not get any answer. Keta tries to climb the top of the cliff, but suffers a lot as his leg is injured. As soon as he looks down, he sees a very deep gorge, 
and after a while it starts raining there. Due to which the water gets filled, and when Keta's hand got slipped, he falls into the water below, due to falling in the water his life is saved. Keta reaches the top of the rock by tying his broken leg with wood. There he sees the monument in his name. He understands that, his father and the tribesmen thought that Keta had died. After this, Keta runs away after seeing the wolves, Keta is alone in this terrible forest, he does not even know how to hunt. He spends the whole night on a dry tree, the next morning when he goes to drink water, he is attacked by some wolves. The Keta runs back towards the dry tree, and as he tries to climb the tree, a wolf grabs his leg. Keta wounds him with his knife and climbs to the top of the tree. At night wolves wait for him under the tree. When Keta wakes up in the morning, he sees that all the wolves are gone and there is only one wolf whom he had injured the day before. Keta turn his knife into spear for himself and when he goes to kill the wolf, he takes pity on the wounded wolf, he picks it up and goes to the cave, where he stayed one night with his tribe. Keta cleans the wound of that wolf. The next morning he wakes up and brings some herbs to heal the wounds of his feet. When Keta drinks water, the wolf also opens his mouth. Keta goes to give him water but the wolf grunts upon seeing him. Keta tells him, I can save your life, I will not do anything to you. The wolf drinks water. Keta is eating insects to save his life, he also gives insects to that wolf. And now slowly a relationship starts to form between them, both of them are injured, so they stay in the same cave for a few days. At night, Keta looks at the tattoos of the stars in his hand which was made by his father and after that he sees the same stars in the sky. Keta says to the wolf, I have to go home now and as he try to leave he says that you should go to your home too. Before it starts to snow, Keta leaves after saying this, he sees that the wolf is following him continuously. However Keta drives the wolf away, but he does not stop going after him and when the wolf sees the pig, he tries to hunt the pig but he is unable to hunt. Keta understands that he is hungry, he gives him insects and eats some too and for the first time the wolf eats insects in the hands of Keta. This means that now both of them have become a good friend. After this the wolf hunts a rabbit and both of them eat together and sleep together at night. The next morning the wolf wakes up Keta by licking his mouth. Keta says that you smell too much, and forcibly throws it in the lake. Now both of them bathe in the river, as well as the wolf catches fish for both of them and after that, the Keta moves towards his house. Now both of them hunt together and eat together. Keta names this wolf Alpha. When they are sitting with the fire burning in the night, only then some other wolves come there and Alpha goes to them. Actually this is the family of Alpha. Keta tells Alpha that you should go with your family, Alpha goes with his family. Next morning Keta sets out on his onward journey. Now the snowfall has also grown a lot, it has become very cold and the Keta is moving forward continuously. Then he sees that some wolves are eating the dead prey, one of them was Alpha. The wolves with him do not let Alpha eat the prey. Keta recognizes him and he starts running towards Alpha. But ice breaks due to the frozen lake and Keta fall in it. Seeing this Alpha runs towards him. Alpha tries to break the ice by jumping from above, but is unable to break the ice layer because it is too strong. The dagger that Keta has, it breaks the layer of ice and comes up. Now they have met again, Keta takes off his clothes to protect himself from the cold, and they both sleep together at night after lighting a fire. Next morning when Keta goes on his journey, he sees a man. Keta is very happy to see him. When he goes to him, he sees that he has died fiercely in the cold. Keta moves forward with his bow and arrows, and then the hyenas attack him. Both enter a cave to save their lives. This cave belongs to the lion who jumps for the Keta, but before the lion reaches Keta and Alpha attacks lion. Alpha and the lion are fighting when Keta kills the lion with his bow and arrow. After this Keta applies herbs on Alpha's wound and says that you are also one of us and I will keep you with me for the rest of my life. The next morning, once again continue the journey ahead, where while facing the cold, they reached the same monument, which was built in the memory of their ancestors. Where Keta had arrived at the beginning of this journey with his father and the tribesmen. He becomes very happy seeing this because he is on the right direction and not too far from his home. 
Keta's courage grows, he keeps moving forward in the icy cold, but due to Alpha's injury, he cannot walk very far. He falls there and Keta picks him up in his lap. But after walking some distance, Keta also lies down in the snow because now he does not have the power to walk further. His eyes slowly closes. He sees a dream which reminds him of the night before going on the journey, his mother was worried for him. And tells Keta's father that, don't take Keta with you, I am afraid that he'll leave somewhere. His father says that, he's not as weak as you think he is. Keta's eyes open after seeing this dream. He moves forward with full courage, once again lifting Alpha in his lap. After traveling for a few hours, he sees his clan. He reaches the clan with Alpha, when everyone sees Alpha in his lap the clan is shocked. Because for the first time a person has brought a live wolf in his lap and brought it to his tribe. Keta's parents are completely surprised and happy when they see Keta. Keta tells his father to save him and after that he faints. When Keta regains consciousness, he sees that Alpha is also lying beside him in a wounded condition. Then there a woman picks up the little child of Alpha and says that you are welcome in this clan. Actually Keta did not know that Alpha is pregnant. Alpha has children. Keta goes to Alpha and tells him that everything is fine now. After a few days, when both of them get cured, they are sitting together. Alpha also has children. This is the beginning of a new era where humans started befriending and loving animals. At the end of the story, it is shown that the tribe and the wolf hunt together. This story teaches us that people who have kindness, trust and love can win not only the hearts of humans but anyone. As it was in Keta's heart. He saved Alpha's life with kindness, befriended with love and by faith he reached his home with Alpha. A boy separated from his family and a wolf who lost his way met each other. Keta changed the history of mankind to maintain the relationship. Those who have hatred in their heart only make their enemies, and bring havoc around them. This was the story of the movie Alpha. This film was released in the year 2018. It has a rating of 6.7 on IMDb. The budget of this film was $51 million and earned $100 million at the box office. Hope you liked this story. Like and subscribe, may look simple for you but for us it's very valuable.